As I said at the top of this segment, technology is evolving faster these days than are its considered and well thought through uses. Here's a two-part story that demonstrates the slippery slope we may be on. In this session of the Rhode Island General Assembly, there are several bills on file which would permit the Turnpike and Bridge Authority to exchange information with the Department of Motor Vehicles. The object of these proposed statutes is to provide a mechanism for holding up the driver's license renewal and vehicle registration process for those who have unpaid tolls. The Turnpike and Bridge Authority is set up to collect fees for passage on a real-time basis. They have neither the authority nor the procedures in place to dun scoff laws or to be a collection agency for overdue unpaid debts. <coughs> the bills in this session of the General Assembly are very likely to coalesce into a single form and pass this spring. After all, we already use this same process to pressure those delinquent with their state income taxes. But what of all the toll jumpers who don't even have an easy pass? yet still sail through the electronic lane on the Pell Bridge. Should they not be photographed so they could be identified by the registration tags for a fine? Sure. But that brings us to our second story. Our IDOT is underway with the design and specification of the two dozen or so toll gantries they'll be erecting to support the ill-advised roadworks legislation. All of these devices will be optical. They'll be more than capable of tracking every vehicle that comes within range, comparing its tag number to any of a variety of databases, and then recording the date and time of the sighting for posterity. Should police agencies have access to these records of the comings and goings of vehicles they later come to suspect of use in a crime? Should the average annual mileage for any or all vehicles in the tracking pool be available to police? How about insurance companies who compute risk based on usage? How about the RI tax authorities who have already talked about a sliding scale road use tax? The point is we need to control government costs so that traditional sources of revenue will continue to suffice. If we don't, there are very real privacy risks looming as the constant cry of roads and bridges will be used in ever more creative ways to justify the high tech picking of our pockets while keeping us constantly under surveillance. April? Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34, Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sundays at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash common sense ri. You can also find us on Facebook as Common Sense of Rhode Island and on Twitter at ampersand common sense ri.